previously with Spring Bonnie's red bow tie. Chica and Foxy were gearing up for a race. Freddy and Bonnie were hiding and Goldie simply watched on. Scott crawled up to the kids. He crouched down, then lifted them up in the air. You kids can do that later, he declared. There would be no running animatronics in his pizzeria. Chica and Foxy were now both hanging upside down. Mr. Scott, Chica laughed. Hey, Foxy giggled. His tail was wagging. Chica waved her arms up, well, down for her and laughed. Scott rolled his eyes. Those two were having too much fun. He glanced from chicken to fox. Right now, I want all of you to go back into your room, he said. He gently placed Foxy, then Chica down. Aww, the kids whined. Bonnie leapt up. He ran to Chica. Want to race there? He asked. Chica grinned. Heck yeah! Her and Bonnie got in positions and then snap! They sped off into their room. Foxy and Freddy leapt up. Wait for me, they cheered together. Oops, they did not mean to do that. Foxy took Freddy's paw. Come on, he laughed. Freddy giggled the entire time as he was dragged away. No saying heck, Scott called after them. He shook his head. Then he counted. Freddy, Foxy, Bonnie, Chica, and the door closed after them. Good, they're all safe. Scott, Golden said, his tone was stone cold. Scott froze. He turned to face his own personal spring lock suit. Golden Freddy had taken a life of his own, one that was filled with stolen moments from the Fazbear Diner. Times with Spring Bonnie and Fredbear. Golden Freddy was all that was left of the Fazbear Diner. Scott's heart ached. Golden's eyes were narrowed. We need to talk. Hey, my lovely cupcakes. Elsie Rowe here, and I hope you guys enjoyed that episode of our comic. This has been so much fun to go back to, also to rewrite, because going back and looking over the panels, this was a big thing that I just didn't touch in the comic. Golden has been fiercely protective over the baby Fazbear cubs for like the whole first section of the comic. I didn't really give him a reaction or anything when Purple basically almost attacked his kids. And yes, I know Golden's going through a lot, but also <laughs> I'm giving Golden some space because when I was a baby making this comic, a little wee babe, I did not like conflict. I still don't like conflict, but now I'm like, it's kind of fun to write. So <laughs> I thought it'd be fun. Plus, I think this is something that should be explored and explained a little more. So we're going to have a little fun, explore it out a little bit. At the time of this recording, the FNAF, the new FNAF game hasn't come out yet, but I hope it's coming out soon. We're in July. So I'm like, I'm very excited. <laughs> But hey y'all, I, I really hope y'all enjoyed that. It was really fun to make and I am pumped to get back to drawing these babes. I love drawing small animatronics. I do not know why. I just think they're so much fun. And it's really fun drawing Goldie. I miss Goldie. Goldie has not been in the main comic for a hot minute. And it's tricky because he is one of my favorite characters. But it's okay. <laughs> Sorry y'all, total tangent. But I hope you guys like this comic, and I will see you next time on our lovely show. Bye! <laughs>